hello my dear friends welcome back to my channel so this video is going to be very important for all of you uh, students who are there so either if you are 2022 scheme student and uh, 2021 and 2018 okay no matter but uh, probably uh, the 2022 scheme students are going to appear in the examination tomorrow over there right so you should know this point how vtu papers are checked and how to write the paper okay dear so i will take here the sample it is the seventh some uh, question paper but no matter whatever the question paper you have either it will be mathematics like other subjects i am just uh, preferring this paper as an example how to write suppose dear friends this is the first question there will be three parts or two parts uh, this is one a and one b so uh, in the examination you don't need to write in the sequence means uh, if you attempt the model first if you are uh, having a hold on the model first you are writing one a and one b in the sequence try to shuffle the questions shuffling means uh, if you are writing first a then go for two uh, b or three b or six b okay so f uh, first you write one a right then you are shuffling the question uh, suppose the model two if you are having the hold on the uh, three uh, third question okay go for three b or three uh, a like that okay why shuffling is important in the examination as vtu evaluators have 15 minutes to check the papers okay they have the sample uh, what we call is answer uh, answers for the uh, answers for that particular question paper if you write this in the sequence that if you are writing one a one b he is having the answers of that particular questions especially in the mathematics you should be beware of uh, the uh, answers over there so for the mathematics subject it is important not for mathematics only for all the subjects okay so shuffling is important means uh, try to write down the first question uh, uh, try to write down the first uh, 1a and then go for the 3b or like that suppose if you are taking module fifth go for the 9a why shuffling just uh, evaluator will when uh, he will check the paper he has to go for the first 9a then 8b so it will be somehow difficult for evaluator to uh, have the exact idea how to uh, check the paper over there so it, that will be the difficult for the evaluator okay so do like that Shuff first point is shuffling of the uh, what we call uh, questions over there this is the first point next point is uh, you should write first five pages very neat over there so neat first five pages should be there okay first to five pages if you write uh, neatly evaluator will understand that uh, he knows the concept very well then after fifth to, uh, fifth to uh, what we call another pages there are especially the 44 pages in the vtu uh, uh, answer uh, answer uh, booklet over there so first five one to five or one to ten uh, neatness should be there means you should not scratch the paper okay like that so that automatically the your what we call presentation of a paper will become awkward uh, towards the evaluator over there okay so these two points are the important okay try to avoid mistakes in the beginning pages okay so uh, if you write only 16 pages that doesn't matter in the v2 examination suppose it is uh, 44 pages are there in the booklet if you write only 16 17 or 18 pages okay but that should be sufficient that you should have uh, some technical knowledge which you put forth in the paper over there okay some uh, sometimes students are writing uh, more than 35 pages uh, that is the quantity but quality also matters in the vtu paper okay so don't worry about the pages if you are writing 16 or 18 or 15 pages but that should be uh, very what we call as technical over there <clears throat> means if you if some questions are the theoretical questions uh, if i take the example of mathematics suppose mathematics is a problematic subject if you write the problem is very well over there there should be the correct answers as i earlier told you that a vtu elevator has an answer script for those uh, questions over there so they will definitely check the uh, answers okay especially for the matrix part uh, most of the students think that matrix is the easier part but they are always checking the answers okay most of the students are uh, what we call attempting the matrix they are telling that i have uh, attempted whole uh, matrix over there i should get 20 marks but uh, evaluators are checking the uh, mark uh, sorry um, answers over there okay so try to shuffle the questions so that it will be difficult for the evaluator uh, to what we call check the paper in that particular mention a time that is 15 minutes okay so I, so this is the way of checking the papers over there okay i hope uh, you have understood what i have told you in this video i hope and this uh, video is beneficial for you people dear friends uh, so sh make sure you will share this video to all your friends uh, who do don't know how to write how to present the papers over there that will be somehow uh, what we call as uh, relief for the students over there thank you